The Bank of Canada just did something big. It cut interest rates. This decision is monumental and has far-reaching implications for the entire economy. This isn't just any ordinary financial move. It's a strategic maneuver aimed at stimulating economic growth and stabilizing the financial landscape. It's a clear signal to everyone, from everyday Canadians to Wall Street giants, that the bank is seriously focused on getting inflation under control. By lowering interest rates, the Bank of Canada is making borrowing cheaper, which can encourage spending and investment. You might be thinking, what does this even mean for me? Well, hold on tight. This move can have a direct impact on your daily life, from the cost of your mortgage to the interest you earn on your savings. We're about to break it all down, step by step. Understanding these changes can help you make informed decisions about your finances. This rate cut is a big deal because it affects everything from how much you pay on your mortgage to the value of your savings. Lower interest rates mean lower monthly payments for those with variable rate mortgages, potentially saving you hundreds of dollars a year. It's time to pay attention. This decision can also influence the stock market, as lower rates can lead to higher stock prices, benefiting your investment portfolio. Your financial well-being is at stake. Stay informed and consider consulting with a financial advisor to navigate these changes effectively. The Bank of Canada's move is a reminder of how interconnected our financial systems are and how a single decision can ripple through the economy, affecting us all. Let's rewind a bit. Remember those crazy days after the pandemic when prices for everything seemed to skyrocket? That was inflation rearing its ugly head. Suddenly, your grocery bill doubled, gas became a luxury, and don't even get me started on the cost of housing. Inflation was a thief in the night, silently shrinking the value of our hard-earned money. For many, it felt like an uphill battle just to stay afloat. The Bank of Canada knows this, and this recent rate cut is their attempt to get us off this roller coaster. So what does this rate cut actually mean? Let's break it down step by step. In simple terms, the Bank of Canada just made it cheaper for banks to borrow money. This is done by lowering the interest rate at which banks can get loans from the central bank. And when banks get a deal, they usually pass on some of those savings to you and me. This means lower interest rates on loans and mortgages, making it more affordable for individuals and businesses to borrow money. This rate cut, a reduction of 50 basis points might sound small, but it's designed to have a ripple effect throughout the economy. A basis point is one hundredth of a percentage point, so 50 basis points is half a percent. Think of it like a pebble tossed into a pond. The initial splash might be small, but the ripples spread far and wide. This analogy helps us understand how a small change in the interest rate can influence various aspects of the economy. In theory, this should make borrowing money, for things like mortgages, car loans, or business loans, a little bit easier and cheaper. Lower interest rates mean lower monthly payments, which can encourage spending and investment. But will it be enough to tame the inflation beast? Inflation is the rate at which the general level of prices for goods and services is rising, and subsequently, purchasing power is falling. The central bank hopes that by making borrowing cheaper, it will stimulate economic activity. More spending and investment can lead to higher production and employment, which can help balance out inflation. However, it's a delicate balance. Too much borrowing and spending can lead to higher demand, which might push prices up even further. The goal is to find the sweet spot where the economy grows steadily without overheating. So, while a rate cut can provide some immediate relief and stimulate growth, it's not a magic bullet. It's one tool in the central bank's toolkit to manage the economy. The effects of a rate cut can take time to materialize and depend on various factors, including global economic conditions and consumer confidence. Understanding the rate cut helps us see the bigger picture of how monetary policy works and its impact on our daily lives. It's a complex dance of numbers and policies aimed at keeping the economy healthy and stable. So next time you hear about a rate cut, you'll know it's more than just a number. It's a strategic move to shape the economic landscape. If you're someone carrying debt, especially variable rate debt like a mortgage, this rate cut might bring some relief. Lower interest rates usually translate into lower monthly payments. That extra cash in your pocket could be a welcome cushion in these uncertain times. But don't go on a spending spree just yet. It's still important to be smart with your money. Use any extra savings wisely. Pay down high interest debt, build up your emergency fund, or consider investing for the future. 
Section 5. Savers, Feeling the Pinch Now, for those of you who are diligently saving, this rate cut might feel like a bit of a downer. Lower interest rates mean banks are also likely to offer lower interest rates on savings accounts and GICs. Your money might not grow as quickly as it used to. But don't despair. This is a time to reassess your savings goals and explore different investment options. Don't be afraid to shop around for the best rates or consider diversifying your portfolio. The housing market is always a hot topic, and this rate cut is sure to add fuel to the fire. Lower interest rates could make it more attractive for people to enter the housing market. This increased demand could potentially push prices up, especially in already competitive markets. It's a delicate dance between affordability and market forces. If you're thinking about buying or selling a home, now is the time to do your research consult with a real estate professional and make informed decisions. The Bank of Canada isn't just focused on inflation, it's also trying to keep the overall economy healthy and growing. A rate cut can be a way to encourage people to spend and invest, which can boost economic activity. Think of it like jumpstarting a car, a little boost to get things moving again. However, it's a balancing act. The bank needs to find the sweet spot between stimulating growth and keeping inflation in check. Section 8. The Currency Conundrum When interest rates change, it can also impact the value of our Canadian dollar. Generally, lower interest rates can make our dollar less attractive to foreign investors, which can cause it to weaken. A weaker dollar can make imported goods more expensive, potentially contributing to inflation. It's a complex web of interconnected factors. Pay attention to currency fluctuations, especially if you travel frequently or rely on imported goods. Section 9. What's next? The Bank of Canada's Crystal Ball. The Bank of Canada doesn't have a crystal ball, unfortunately, so they can't predict the future with certainty. They'll continue to monitor economic data closely and adjust interest rates as needed. This rate cut might be the beginning of a series of adjustments as the bank navigates the choppy waters of inflation and economic uncertainty. Stay informed about the bank's future decisions and be prepared for potential changes in the months to come. Section 10 what this means for you, a financial checklist. In today's ever-changing financial landscape, it's crucial to stay on top of your finances. This checklist will help you navigate through these uncertain times and ensure you're making the most of your money. So what can you do to protect yourself and make the most of this rate environment? Here's a quick checklist. Review your budget, track your spending, and make sure you know where every dollar is going. This is the foundation of financial health. Identify areas where you can save, whether it's cutting back on dining out, cancelling unused subscriptions, or finding cheaper alternatives for your regular expenses. Make adjustments as needed. Your budget should be a living document that evolves with your financial situation. Regularly revisiting and tweaking it can help you stay on track. Tackle high interest debt. Prioritize paying down debt with the highest interest rates, such as credit card debt or payday loans. These debts can quickly spiral out of control if not managed properly. As those are costing you the most money, consider consolidating your debts or negotiating lower interest rates with your creditors. Every little bit helps in reducing the overall burden. Shop around for savings and investment options. Don't settle for low interest rates. With a bit of research, you can find better returns for your money, whether it's through high-yield savings accounts, certificates of deposit or other investment vehicles. Low interest rates can be discouraging, but there are always opportunities if you look hard enough. Diversifying your investments can also help mitigate risks and improve your overall returns. Explore different options to find the best returns for your money. This might include stocks, bonds, mutual funds, or even real estate. The key is to not put all your eggs in one basket. Talk to a financial advisor. If you're feeling overwhelmed or unsure about what steps to take, a financial advisor can provide valuable insights and help you create a personalized plan. Financial matters can be complex and stressful, but you don't have to go it alone. A qualified advisor can help you understand your options and make informed decisions. Consult with a qualified financial advisor who can provide personalized guidance. They can help you set realistic goals, develop a strategy to achieve them, and adjust your plan as needed. Remember, knowledge is power. 
By staying informed and taking proactive steps, you can better manage your finances and make the most of your money. You can navigate these uncertain times with confidence, stay diligent, keep learning, and don't hesitate to seek help when needed. Your financial future is in your hands. Section 11. Stay informed, stay ahead. The financial world is constantly changing, and it's more important than ever to stay informed. Read financial news, follow reputable sources, and don't be afraid to ask questions. This rate cut is just one piece of a larger economic puzzle. By understanding the forces at play, you can make smart decisions that will protect and grow your financial well-being. Remember, you have the power to take control of your finances. Stay informed, make smart choices, and keep your financial goals in sight.